Lewis. Bay County Department of Health officials are warning locals to be more aware of mosquitoes and the diseases they carry. The warning comes after West Nile virus showed up in the blood tests of a couple of Sentinel chickens. And News 13's Chloe Sparks joins us live in the studio. Chloe, what are health officials asking residents to do? Tom, the biggest thing we can do is get rid of standing water. Health department officials say it only takes a bottle cap full of water for mosquitoes to lay their larvae. Right now, Bay County is already 20 inches above our yearly average for rainfill. Officials say this is what's attracting so many mosquitoes. So drain those uh, buckets, uh, old tires, if you have old tires in your yards, uh, in your yard, make sure you drain those bird uh, feeders or bird baths. Uh, make sure you keep that water fresh. Last week, beach mosquito control officials informed the health department of several positive West Nile virus cases in a few of their chickens. Health officials then issued a public mosquito-borne illness advisory. It's the first one this year. Everyone in Bay County, you know, in the panhandle, really, we live in Florida, the virus is always out there in nature. So everyone just needs to take precautions when they're outside, when the mosquitoes are, are active. West Nile isn't the only disease spread by mosquitoes. They also spread eastern equine encephalitis and the Zika virus. Clawson says the most important times to protect yourself from mosquitoes is at dawn and dusk. A couple ways you can do that is by wearing insect repellent or wearing long sleeves and you can even throw on some long pants. If you can't do that, we recommend that you use a DEET product. Um, some people do have allergies to DEET. We recommend that they use um, some, or to, some, some other type of uh, repellent. And there are organics out there that you can use like eucalyptus oil. COPE SAYS THERE IS A WIDE RANGE OF SYMPTOMS FOR WEST NILE. IT CAN FEEL LIKE THE FLU, BUT YOU ALSO MAY, MAY BE ASYMPTOMATIC. THE ONLY WAY TO KNOW FOR SURE IS IF YOU GET A BLOOD TEST. THAT MIGHT NOT BE A BAD IDEA. CHLOE, THANKS VERY MUCH. CHLOE SPARKS REPORTING. FOR THE LAST THREE YEARS,